Hello everybody and welcome back to Oakford Farm. So we are running Seasons and it has turned out so far to be a very good series. Uh, at least that's what I've been told from my viewers, so thank you to everybody who has enjoyed it so far. So we are continuing today with the ploughing and as you can see it's a bit of a mess currently because the worker is just trying to figure things out, but most importantly um, I do need to put a headland in. I need to go around the headland a few times just to basically tell the worker that everything is fine. Uh, some of you may say use cosplay and stuff. I'm not very good with cosplay, I do need to learn, so definitely in the future it is a consideration, but for today and obviously the foreseeable future, I will be trying out just using the in-game worker. So I did just experience a very strange glitch, the tractor got stuck on a wall uh, when it was on a worker, and it charged me thousands of pounds, which is very strange, so I don't know why that would be, uh, but I do need to make sure I keep an eye on the money so it doesn't do that again. Um, but what we're going to do is actually buy probably the only tractor now for some time and so I'll replace one. We're going to buy a Massey Ferguson 8737 which is actually the biggest Massey Ferguson tractor in the game. It's not however the biggest Massey Ferguson tractor in existence. Uh, yes, I think the game is already just slightly out of date uh, but that is why you have a new one every two years. So I think I'm going to go for a pretty good setup here. Obviously it's the biggest engine which we can get. And I don't know whether, I don't know, I think probably with plowing it would not be a good idea to have the rear twins, but it would be for the seeding. Uh, but it would be good to have, oh the money is rocketing down, look. Why is he doing that? It's whenever it goes out of the boundary. So I'm going to leave this now, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to allow it to continue until I have gone in the headland a few times. Because clearly, whenever it crashes, it charges me an absolute fortune weird. Yes, yeah, so we'll spend 303000 which is obviously a very large chunk of money, but that does still leave plenty of money for the Combine Harvester. So I'm not worried at all about the money now, because th that tractor is going to solve any kind of horsepower requirement issues, because I will be eventually upgrading a lot of the machinery to be fairly large, and this is going to be the perfect tractor for the job. The only thing I do need to do is just get another set up very similar. I did consider going for something like, well, one of these plows here, but it just, maybe this one here, but it just doesn't really seem worth the money when I can have a front and rear plow, which does come to a pretty good working width. For example, this one here is £59,000, the working width is 4.9 metres. If I have the front plow, it doesn't actually say the working width, and the rear, it's probably about the same, and that is substantially cheaper, 12000 plus 14000 So. I think I would just go for another front and rear setup. It seems to work really well. Yeah, 26,000 it is in total for two plows. As long as I don't have any more issues regarding money, where the money just plummets, I should be okay. I don't know how quickly I did catch it before. I hope I did catch it uh, fairly quickly after it started to plummet. But if we can just calculate how much I lost that, I could potentially reclaim it. But I'm not too worried. Um, it is a very strange situation. Anyway, this should fall up a bit. There we go. So, once I've sorted out the headlands, I can just hopefully leave the worker to to plow the field. But if it's going to do that, then that is going to get quite frustrating. So hopefully it doesn't do it again. I am just so pleased to have this tractor back. I absolutely love this particular tractor. Or, to put it simply, I love pretty much every Massive Ferguson tractor. But, um, yeah, I really don't know why the utility tractor from FS17 Platinum Edition hasn't been transferred over to 19. Why? Because nearly all the other machines have been, but that one hasn't. I have to admit, it doesn't look very good without the cab. Uh, you can actually get a cab for one of those in real life, and it just looks so good. So, yeah, I'm surprised there hasn't been just even a simple convert of it, just to put it into the game. I would love to have it in, but if, if a modder did put a cab on it as well, wow, it'd be a good tractor. Obviously, it's fairly low horsepower, but it, it does still have its own uses. Uh, sometimes you do only require 75 to 100 horsepower. This tractor, on the other hand, is probably getting very close to 400. Yeah, so it is still mid-spring, it is the third day. We are actually going to be sleeping within this episode, uh, because we do need to move things on a bit, it's just I'm treating 
uh, the first section of this as just a bit of a test because I'm just trying to get things set up. I didn't want to waste the precious next day. Uh, it does help if you go to the right field as well. <laughs> yes, turning up in completely the wrong field isn't a good look. Anyway, we are here. I can now start to go around the headland and I think, well, hopefully twice, but it might have to be three times. So that's all working the correct way. The land wheels are obviously on the land. And, yeah, that was the wage payment. I think that's why I just got charged a ridiculous fee. So it was 1,200 and... was it 24? Uh, that, that could... not all of it, but a section of that could be reclaimed, if you think it's a good idea. Well, I've done one side, I'm now working on the other side, and I did set off the tractor on the worker, but once again it, it did get to uh, this side and it went through the, the fence on the other side of the road and charged me an absolute fortune. So I'm just going to leave it now until I have actually made sure there is a big enough border, and then hopefully it's not going to do it. It really shouldn't do. Why it does it in the first place, I have absolutely no idea. But yes, if we can just try and work around it, then that would be great, because I really can't be playing this whole field myself. It's huge, even with two of these tractors on the go, it's going to take some time. So, uh, yes, I would be uh, disappointed if I wouldn't be able, if I, if I can't put the worker on. So, I should be able to. I don't think it's going to be an issue. Uh, it's just helping it along first, it's the most important thing. And then, of course, I can tidy up this section, which is all a bit messed up. No problem at all. So, I continue going backwards and forwards, and then we can try again. Right, so this is going to be the final time I go across the field, and then it should be good enough. Obviously, I'm going to turn around and go back. But I've just been thinking that I do have the chickens as well. I do need to make sure they are well fed. But chicken eggs are worth a lot of money. I think even with seasons, they are still worth a lot of money. It is worth checking. Uh, so, yeah, before I do say too much, it would be a wise idea just to take a very quick look. Uh, yeah, they're not obviously the 8,000 which they used to be. Unless they can still get to 8,000, not too sure, because we do have the uh, the prices chart, but it is still good. It is still a very good price. So I need to make sure I look after them. We should probably have some kind of trailer, maybe even that trailer, for loading the crates onto or the boxes onto. It doesn't really matter what it is, uh, just as long as I can load things up. And it is going to be almost time to feed the pigs again, the pigs and the chickens. But as I explained in the previous episode, uh, the pigs actually don't need doing it quite as often as they're supposed to be because, for whatever reason, uh, it did actually accept most of all my crates, which I gave them, crates of pig food, and it went over the allowed fill level. So that was quite good for me. Uh, so yeah, more than what the game wanted me to actually have in the, in the feed trough. Anyway, let's just head back down here. Then we can retry the worker, and fingers crossed it's going to work. So here we are, ready and waiting for it to go. I might have to go to the far end and just tidy it up a bit more, but I'll do that off screen. So in a second, we should discover if I have sorted the issue. Obviously it's not a permanent fix, it is just working around it. Unless it is, of course, the plough for whatever reason. I don't know if when the worker lifts the plough it does it. I don't know. We'll soon find out. It will soon become very clear. So there we go. It's working its way across the field. It should be able to stay pretty much in line with where it was before. Uh, no excuses really. And then as long as I have helped it as much as I can do this end, this shouldn't be a problem. I was hoping to get there in front of it. I think I will do, just about. Just to give it every opportunity that it can get. Please don't crash into me though. <laughs> that would be something. Uh, that was quite a clash. But this is the thing I'm most in, uh, interested in. If it can actually turn around without 
It's costing me a fortune. It's the plough, isn't it? It's that front plough. It must be. Although I'm not going to pass blame because I don't know. So we do have a bit of an issue, uh, but it is something which I can work around. What I can essentially do is just replace these two with one of the ploughs I didn't really want to get, but I can do it, and I can put them on the. Uh, I can put it on the Massey Ferguson. So uh, yeah, if I just go and replace them, we can we can try things out and hope for the best. What I'm going to do is go to bed, and then in the morning I can sort things out. If it turns out that the plough does still charge me a fortune when it's lifted, then I'm just going to have to uh, report the issue. But I'm hoping that it is actually that the uh, yeah, it is the front plough. We, we can try and eliminate things. It's the best way of doing it. I've just realised the steering column seems to be very upright. Uh, I don't know if it's possible to lower that. I didn't think we had interactive control here, but I might be wrong. Not sure. So, yep, just for tonight, let's just put this here. And I will jump out and go and sleep. It's a good setup though. I really do like the front and rear plow setup. I did have it on Felsbrunn without an issue, but I don't know. Morning, everybody. <laughs> what a day. Can you believe it? So we now have a field which is very wet. I don't know if the Seasons mod does prevent us from... Uh, Plowing though, I'm hoping I can still plow. It's just when it's frozen, you can't plow. I think, but I'll, I'll obviously discover uh, if that is the case as well. But uh, yeah, the steering column has fixed itself. Clearly, it was just because I had something in the wrong place. Let's go to the store and let's go and get a different plow. This isn't going terribly well. <laughs> I, I'm sure things will improve. The interesting thing is, in the night, it was actually snowing. It, it did snow very, very briefly. It's now mid-spring. So it's a bit of an unusual event. Um, but that is the exact reason why you must have a crop in which is frost resistant. I, I should have rotated that first. Yeah, you need a frost resistant crop. Now luckily, I did go for wheat and that is fairly crop resistant. Uh, frost resistant, sorry. <laughs> crop resistant. Yeah, not everything is as resistant to frost as the wheat is. But, I mean, it's just unlucky, I think if you do get a really cold night hopefully it won't destroy the crop but it's yeah I think last night was a bit unusual that is what the forecast is for though okay so I'm just going to go and buy this plan and then we can head back over to the field and give it a go if it's not too wet so this one requires 300 horsepower it will be going on the Massey Ferguson after all I was hoping to feed the pigs today. I do need to. Let's just take a look and see how they're doing. Uh, oh, actually, they're pretty good. It's just straw they've run out of, but even that doesn't really matter too much. As for the uh, chickens, though, it is vital that I feed them in the next hour or so. So that is the job to do, whether this works or not. Right, so here we go. I'm beginning to think it would have been a better idea just to use the subsoilers like I did mention before. I was just trying to be more realistic, actually using a plant instead of uh, just using a subsoiler as a substitute. They do actually have two different jobs, but in in farming method they have exactly the same job. Um, so yeah, the red tractor is taking the blue plow and the blue tractor is taking the red plow. Nice. Anyway, if it works, I'm happy. If it doesn't, then I will be a bit frustrated, I must admit. I am preparing to stop the worker. I'm ready to tab through, but I might as well just do a bit here as I wait. It's almost at the end. That's the good thing about that tractor. It just has so much power, it can just plow through the field and get the job done. Uh, just as long as it doesn't cost me a million pounds in the meantime. These workers, they're getting so greedy. Okay, it's getting very close. It's getting very close, so keep an eye on the money. I should just be stepping down like it is currently. 348, 347, that sort of thing. Um, yeah. So is it when it raises any plow? Or was it when it raised a particular plow? Not necessarily the uh, front one. It's also thundering here in real life. So if you can hear thunder, then uh, what's fun? Uh, I suppose it blends with the uh, current weather in game. There is rain on the way. Although this microphone doesn't seem to pick up too much ambient sound. It's doing it, the crazy thing. Quickly stop. 
Right, so it picks up the player and it, it does that. So I'm just going to have to, uh, well, first of all, listen to my subscribers. Maybe you've experienced this problem or know of this problem uh, with a certain mod. It could be seasoned, but I'm not going to say because I do not know. So I'm just going to, I'm going to wait. I'm going to go and do the, uh, go, go and sort out the feed because yes, there could be a fairly simple solution to all of this. So I don't want to just mess around. There we go. Okay, that's kind of messing around, dropping off the weight. Um, but yes, I will go and sort out the pigs and also the chickens. There isn't a massive amount to do here. It is just basically uh, giving the chickens the food and giving the pigs the straw. But it's a job that still has to be done, especially the chicken work. So I have, I have just wasted time changing the front plough, which is kind of annoying. Because, uh, yes, it is a good plan. It is not clearly the uh, front plow fault there, let's just add. Um, yeah, I did think it would be strange because I did use it on Felsbrunn and it worked really well. So, I don't know. I would just like to add here that I am trying to make this series as realistic as possible. So, I just want to apologise for what's happened. Uh, I would love to restart the episode, but unfortunately I don't really have time to do all that again. Uh, I have done that before, though. I must have done it many times before. I have recorded almost a full episode and thought... You know what, this, this doesn't seem like a very good episode. I'm going to start again, and I have done. So it takes a lot of time to do that. I don't like doing it, but sometimes the quality just is not good enough. I think, really, it's quite good to show what we've just experienced there because it, it could bring up a solution. It could even uh, point out the problem in the first place if it's not known yet, but I think it probably will be known. I'm not too sure. I tend to only look at a list on a forum of issues, known issues, if I experience an issue, so I should really take a look at some various mod issue pages. So first, because they are a priority, I have chicken feed here, which is extremely expensive. It's over a thousand pounds for a thousand litres of wheat. It is just wheat, with a fancy bag, so calling it premium chicken feed. No, no, it's just wheat. So uh, <laughs> once I have harvested my third of wheat, we will have a nice cheap affordable supply and you never know it might even be higher quality as well especially with all the plowing I'm doing or trying to do uh, so yeah just top this up and then the chickens will be sorted how are their eggs doing yeah they've got some cardboard boxes I do need to get that crate mod I do like the crate mod you can load all of the uh, chicken egg boxes into it it does keep things very neat. I'm sure that's not empty yet. I'm just going too far over. There we go. Just takes a few seconds to stop once it starts. And they might take nearly all of this, but not quite all of it. Wow, I got it right. So there we go. Um, it is time to go and check out these boxes, but yeah, I think it is just... It's not worth moving them yet. I'm going to wait until there's a full load there. They're not going to produce as much as normal, I wouldn't have thought. The Seasons mod does make things more challenging. Uh, yeah, just 22 litres, so not much. So this final 8% can go back in the shed, and then I'm going to attach to the straw shredder, which might already be attached to the Fiat tractor, the 180-90. If not, I'll put it on this tractor, and we can get another bale shred into, or shredded? Shredded or shred? Hmm. Shred. It's definitely shred. Yes, a bale shred into the uh, enclosure. Okay, I know I'm boring, but I did actually look that up. Shred or shredded. And yeah, it, either are fine. Uh, shred does tend to be looking at the past tense, whereas shred is more present. But there you go. Isn't that fun? Uh, yep, yeah, so I'm going to go and shred. <laughs> shred those bales. And we're going to uh, make sure they have enough. Although I, I really have actually gone off the idea of doing straw because you can just get pig slurry and then you can just suck it out into a slurry spreader which could be a good thing to do. We do have the uh, slurry pitched here. Giving them straw creates solid manure instead which I think would be... hmm where is it? Where is the uh, solid manure fill point? Is it up here around the corner? Yes, here it is. Uh, so yeah, either. Whatever you want to do. But I think I, I do prefer slurry. Not for the smell. It, it is easier, and technically it's cheaper. Um, anyway, into the fit, just here. It is empty. It is also attached to it. 
so we can get another bell loaded up. I think I do have another one. I did buy three. Good job I did buy three, because I did at one point think, oh, I've bought too many here, but then, uh, with it only being the fourth day of spring, I think, yeah, three would have been only just enough, and I think maybe even four might be required, but if we need to get another one, I can buy another one later. This is the only time that I'm going to buy one, and I have also blocked them in. Okay. Oh, crack. I've just put it where the chicken feed is. I'm always blocking something in, uh, but as long as it's under cover, that's the most important thing here. And I am going to invest in some uh, bell spikes, but not the in-game, not, not the base one, not the base game one, uh, because I always feel that that one is a little bit frustrating to use. You can only pick up one, and also it does allow the bell to come flying off if you break heavily. So there are loads of good uh, bell spikes on Mod Hub. In fact, I'm very impressed with how many different bell spikes there are for FS19. Very impressed indeed. Really good choice. So I'm going to make, mo make the most of them. It would be foolish not to. There we go. And yes, just put this into uh, their enclosure. Then we can take a look and see how healthy everybody is, but everybody should be very healthy indeed. Chicken should be really good. Pig should be really good. There we go. They've got through it quickly. And if I do run out of straw, like I say, I'm, I, I could just leave it and get slurry instead. Just as good stuff. It doesn't cost as much to actually get. So, uh, yeah, we'll put this up here again for the future. Looks like he uses 50% every time. Roughly 50%. And I guess I could continue doing a bit of plowing myself. Uh, because if I... Uh, well, I'm not going to use a worker again until I've sorted that. This section here, I'm going to do this section. Tidy it up a bit. I might as well use the smaller tractor. Because, uh, yeah, it's looking a bit scruffy and also I'm never going to get the worker to work in this piece again because it's just a bit too complicated for it. So I'll get this whole section done here. And, yes, yeah, so then I can work on getting a solution to the issue which we have experienced today. And, yes, the worker just thinks, I'm, I'm getting paid a decent wage here as it's ploughing. And then suddenly it gets to the end and thinks, actually, no, I'm going to add £100 every second to my, uh, to my bill which I'm going to send to the farmer, to the owner of the land. So thanks, worker. Hopefully it's not too much of a fix, too complicated uh, of, a, of an issue, but we will find out. Let's get this done, and then it's raining, and yeah, we'll have to finish, probably. getting wetter and wetter it's not really the weather to be doing this uh, so I'm definitely going to be packing up after I have completed this section but it is a vast improvement over what it used to be the whole area is now ploughed and we don't have to worry about the worker getting confused anymore which is good uh, we just have to worry about the worker stealing my money as it likes to do um, we will take a look at the field from the above view in a second using the minimap just to make sure that everything's working as it should be doing There we go. So we'll switch the engine off here. Such a wet day. Turned out to be really bad. Um, but yes, it should have removed the red section, the red area, uh, saying that the field requires ploughing on this piece. So, uh, well, that's that. interesting. The previous crop was canola. I might have already said that from the uh, stubble, though. Um, yeah, so we're looking at 
this page and it says needs lime. I don't know if we have to do lime on seasons. I think we might have to. But yes, needs plowing. It is definitely sorting out that issue. And with all the plowing that I've already done, it really is just a very small amount. Uh, we have a lot to do, which is why I need to use a worker. So, yep, I'm going to look into a problem. Hopefully somebody can shed some light on the issue as well in the uh, comments section. Also, I must just remind you that I do have a link in my description for pre-ordering the class DLC or the Platinum Edition. Um, and yeah, if you do use that link, then it does help me out a bit. I get like a pound, I think, uh, for each purchase of the Platinum Edition. Uh, but the, these pounds do add up, so I really would appreciate it if you could use that link. If not, then fair enough. But there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.